Here on a Saturday, doing some stuff. I was actually over at my buddy Matt's place, helping get him get his 12, some of the stuff done on his 12 valve he wasn't comfortable doing. Well, he needed a hand getting the transfer case in. And then I set the timing on it, um, and then uh, I had to go because I had a customer coming to pick an engine up. But, um, today, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick run over of what we got going on and what I'm doing. Uh, I'm getting kind of absent just the last little bit. The reason for that is because I'm super busy, but I am busy doing a bunch of stuff. So you guys seen the video on the second gen, hurt the engine. Not sure what happened to the engine yet. I haven't tore it apart. I will do a video when I tear that apart. That's the engine we're gonna use for, sorry if it's windy, wind noise. Um, that's the engine we're gonna put in the burnout truck. But I got this all back together. I just gotta unlock the door here. Washed it or anything yet. Honestly, not that it cleans up that well anymore anyway, but still like to keep stuff clean. Now, do take into consideration, I have not prepped, I haven't cleaned any of the wiring, I haven't nothing. So, and I still got a couple things to do. Um, I got basically everything done that I wanted to do, other than I haven't done the intake yet, I gotta change that, but that's working for now. And then I still have to do something for a catch can, but I think I'm gonna change I think, I'm not 100% sure. I'm either going to change the valve cover and put a couple breathers on the valve cover, tie them into that, or I'm just going to come off the front right here, because there's a, well, this is where this cap is, there's a fitting there. I might just come off of there and go there. Just trying to, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible on myself. So, one cool thing, or something that I'm looking forward to, is we're going to do a dyno test on the intake horn and see if that makes a difference. Because some people say it does, then obviously the company that builds them say that it does. Or some people, some companies, or people say that it doesn't make any difference. Then obviously the company that build them say, yes, it makes a difference. We're going to try it. I don't know what this thing's going to make for power right now. I'm going to say from the little bit of driving around I've done, I haven't really driven the guts out of it yet, but it's got to be in the 6, 650 horse range anyway. Um, I don't have a boatload of fuel in it. I pulled a bunch of fuel out. Um, anyways, so if for you guys that are just tuning into, don't know what's going on, if you watched the last video, I'll put a link in the description for that if you're interested. Um, I pulled the 12 valve out and this is a built P-Pump 6.7. It's a 12 and a half mil pump on it. Uh, it's got eight by 10 injectors, which are gonna be getting changed to um, a custom set here. Well, I'm gonna drive it this way, see how I like it. And I probably will do a custom set because I have to build another one of these regard, well, I'm gonna build a couple more of these because I think I'm kind of done with the 12 L's. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. But I really like this 6.7. I really like the P-Pump 6.7s. They drive really nice. Um, they're not cheap to build, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm just fortunate enough to be able to afford to do it. So we are going to, um, I got a, a few more things to clean up. I'll probably do a video of doing that, I would imagine. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, and I have to fix my AC. I don't know if I'll do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on that or not. Because it's hard to go into. There's a whole bunch of difference. Anyways, not even going to get into it. All right, so I wanted to talk about that quick. Let's go inside and see what else I'm doing. Oh, we still have Shay's truck to work on, obviously. Oh, we got the new wheels for Shay's truck. I don't know if I showed a picture. Did I show a picture of that? Oh yeah, I did. For you guys have seen it in the con or in the community tab. But we have a new set of wheels for Shay's truck, which I think lit the fire for Shay when you watch. Um, I'd like to get that thing on the road for him so he gets to drive it a little this summer. We are working on first gen, and we got that first gen. But I want to show you the wheels. They're like an old school looking type Baja wheel. I think it's gonna it's gonna suit that truck mint. So I have been working on this thing. I'm still waiting for the gear, the adjustable gear. We ran into a problem uh, with the gear, but I'm hoping that I'll have it this week. I'm hoping. Um, but I got the piping basically all mocked up. It's not done obviously, but I got the piping all mocked up. Originally I was putting a water box, or not a water box, a inner cooler in inner charge cooler in here and I just I I want to but it adds like too much time and 
We're now mid-July, so if I don't get this thing running soon, uh, it's not going to be until next year, and I don't want it to come out next year. I would like to at least be able to drive it around. So I got the piping all mocked up on this side. I, I haven't got everything welded. It's just tacked together right now. We got van gens on this side. Uh, one van gen with uh, two um, bellows, just so there's some movement. I am going to tie the engine down. I'm going to chain it on both sides, so I don't want it to move around too much. The only thing I haven't got done as far as the piping goes, because I need um, a couple pieces of pipe, because I don't have the downpipe. But downpipe's easy. I'm not worried about the downpipe. And then as far as the rest of it, other than I need to um, do a different throttle cable, it's basically done other than I have took some wiring and stuff up, but it is a first gen truck putting a first gen back in it. So it's not really rocket science. Um, yeah, as soon as I, so basically I'm what I'm hoping, oh, I gotta change the fast unit. This has a big boy fast unit in it that's uh, too high a pressure for this VE. So I'm gonna put a different pump in it. Um, but basically when the gear shows up, I'm hoping to have everything else done. I, I'm probably three nights worth of work away from to the point where that's holding me up. So I want to get that, I want to get everything ready so when the gear shows up, I can put the gear in, put the cover on, put the rad in, and we're hit the ground a running. So that's what I'm doing on this. So this is gonna look, this is gonna be, I think it's gonna look cool. Some of the piping I'm probably gonna redo maybe. I'm literally using the stuff I have. I'm gonna have a bit of a shoestring budget at the moment. I kind of got carried away this, this, quarter I guess I got a little carried away spending money and uh, I don't have all of the cash that I originally thought I was going to have to do so well I spent some I bought some stock I'll talk about that in another video too I bought some stock for selling stuff all right and then on this thing so for you guys that don't know this old bad girl is going to be the burnout truck but being that it is a stock first gen other than it has a fuel pin um I'm going to do a bunch of dyno videos. So I'm actually have started some of the dyno videos already. Um, but it's basically starting out as a stock truck with, a few, I think, with a fuel pin. I'm going to have to tell for sure because I haven't got into that. But anyways, um, we're going to do a bunch of stuff on this. So I am going to do, uh, we're going to swap some turbochargers, um, probably swap the exhaust, swap the air box. Just to show you what this stuff actually does. Because I've actually never seen videos or guys actually showing what this stuff actually changes. Obviously, this is going to be on a dyno, not driving. Um, but it gives you an idea. We're going to go into the pump. We're going to put a govern spring in it. Um, if it does have a fuel pin, we'll swap the fuel pin out. Put a stock one back in. See what the difference is. Um, yeah, we're going to play around. Change the timing. Do a, few th do a bunch of stuff that normal guys are going to do to this. Now, do take in consideration this is an automatic. I am going to go to the point where the automatic won't live anymore, which I don't think is going to be that high, probably 300 horsepower. I am going to turn the line pressure up, uh, try to save it as long as I can. Um, but just thought I'd mention that. So there is going to be, I'm going to say probably 10, maybe 12 videos I'm going to be doing on this. I'm not going to put them all at once out, I don't think, um, unless that's really what you guys want. Or not once, but like, you know, put them out consecutively. Unless that's what you guys want. Let me know in the comments. Um, but we're going to do take this from where it is up to as much as I can get the transmission to hold. And then we're going to take this or from this platform, it's going to go back to Shay's truck. We're going to go as far as I can with the injection pump on that. And then from there, then, then that's when this is going to come back into play. And we're going to um, see how much power we can actually make. I don't think this is going to go back on the dyno for full power pulls. I don't think until after we're done the race season, because if I hurt it, I honestly don't have time to fix it. That was the reason that I didn't fix that yet. Um, busy in the shop and busy with doing all the stuff that I'm trying to get on the go. I just, I got lots of stuff on the go. So that is just kind of how it is right now. So I just wanted to... Um, let you guys know what's going on, what I'm doing. Um, I haven't really videoed any of this because I've just been kind of working on it here and there. So I probably will video maybe from the point where I am now, just because it's like I've been working on it half an hour here, half an hour on it there. Like I've worked on it a couple hours today, but it's just hard to, it's hard to keep track of the footage when I'm the one that does all of that. So 
hopefully um, you guys want to stick around. If there's any videos that you want me to do, um, tech video stuff, I'm actually going to start getting in back into doing some tech videos, maybe a Tech Tuesday or something like that, um, with showing the different different stuff that I'm doing as far as that goes, some uh, you know pump tips or engine tips and that type of stuff, and then probably doing some in depth you know EGT videos. Like I've seen a bunch of those videos, and not that they're bad videos. There's some that are really good videos. I just think I could add some more information that I don't know they didn't put in because they didn't want you to know or they didn't know. And then I'm sure there's somebody else that might come along and do the same thing to me. That's cool. Um, if I knew everything, I wouldn't be standing here. Oh, if you like this video, check out this video and we'll catch you on the next one.